<laughs> Alright, screw the quest. I'm gonna go around just feeding all the animals. Nice. Do you have, like, infinite meat? Yeah. Wow! That's why they call this a fantasy role-playing game. <laughs> It's time for more BS, Zelda. It is time for more BS. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, if you missed our first week presentation, uh, let me sum it up for you. This is... what we're playing right now is a real Super Famicom with an SD2 SNES cartridge. This cartridge allows the full simulation of BS that is broadcast to Teleview broadcasts. So what we're seeing here is a simulated loading screen. We could skip this if we wanted, but I figure it's more fun just to, to get the full experience. Now way back when, you would only get to experience this if you lived in Japan, mm -hmm. had a Super Famicom, mm -hmm. and a broadcast to Teleview unit to download these broadcasts and interpret them in the video game code. You also needed a general satellite receiver too. Mm -hmm. You needed a satellite receiver and a subscription to St. Giga's channel, which was for nothing but New Age music. Until Nintendo stepped in and said, hey, can you be New Age music and also downloadable Super Nintendo games? <laughs> and that's what happened. So way ahead of the curve, way before streaming games became a seemingly cyclical topic here in the gaming world, Nintendo was all over this that. World. Somewhere, descended from heavens, there lies a golden power. The wishes of those it shines upon are conveyed to the gods. Do you think they put These some kind of filter the over this guy's voice when he was recording I this? Rule. God, I hope so. Obtain or is there a fan dubber with like a really deep voice? And your wishes I want to know Grandpa Fan Dub. I want to befriend them. I want them to dub my anime. <laughs> it does sound like Michael Dorn. <laughs> Plays the Teleview games as honorable. <laughs> Those captivated by the legends sought the sacred realm. Oh yeah, and the story is that you, the player, are being sucked However, into the world of Zelda. Of all people, the first to open the gate to the sacred realm and obtain the Triforce was Ganondorf, leader of the thieves. It was at this moment that the king of evil, Ganon. Oh, and if you want born. the old man wizard back from week one, good news, he stars in week two as well. Yes! Oh, I'm so happy! We're gonna be Ganon's hearing a lot from him. Spread. The people yep, of good old Link classic Link. By He's been relation, in the news lately, did you see? Created the Master Sword, oh yeah! A the power to Lady Link. There was Lady Link. The Lady Link is real. Way back when the original Zelda was announced, a magazine started to extrapolate how Link looked, and one magazine didn't get the message that Link was a boy, so they drew him like a typically sexualized the girl. For a hero with the there was the Link panty the shot among those things. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> But the force it's weird because you always see Link you looking all gallant coming, and, uh, you know, and just like to the royal courageous. Palace, and here he is like, ooh, no, don't it. look at my panties. <laughs> oh, God. It just goes to show the difference in uh, how people are depicted back then. You're, <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Jesus. That was my takeaway from it. I was just Your like, Your takeaway was Link's panties. Yeah, my takeaway was like, oh, they thought he's a After girl? Well, obviously it looks like this. The siege is at last obviously, the siege we gotta the get a little horny. And as the curtains just, you fell know. On the and it actually kind of links into this, because more. BS Zelda Peace at the start gives you a choice of playing as either a boy or a girl. So you can be girl Link, essentially. But it's not horny. It's not Thank horny. God. No 16-bit panty shots. Thank God. Otherwise, this is mostly a remake of NES Legend of Zelda, kind of trimmed down to uh, suit the hour-long weekly format. This whole thing took place over uh, the course Zelda. of four weeks, and you can save your data between the weeks power. to continue. Rise quickly, hero. Hyrule. Hyrule is in danger! A puzzling <laughs> panty shot looks more like a diaper. Yes, yeah, that was that was 80s panty shots. <laughs> Return peace to the land of Hyrule once more. Okay, now comes the new content. Here comes BS Zelda Map 1, Week 2, continuing from our save game that we started, what was it, like a couple months ago now? Yeah. Let's do it. The adventure begins anew. Oh, we're going to encounter more troublesome enemies. Oh, no. These enemies just can't take the hint. 
I don't like like you eating my shield. Oh yeah, this comes with a live comedy soundtrack. Most players disabled it. The special guest comedian, uh, Dennis Miller. Yeah. I don't know why this is talking about nothing in the dark. The only pee hat I know is... Oh, too late. <laughs> Here we go. The oh, star of the show. It is good of you to return here without fear, hero. I love him. The fight to reclaim the Triforce begins anew. In the dungeons of the evil King Ganon are hidden a total of eight pieces of the Triforce. Two new dungeons have appeared today. New dungeons? They must hide pieces of the Triforce too. Now go. Hero, reclaim the Triforce. But today's battle will even be more relentless than the last. I shall try to help you in your fight from here. Oh, that's right. A merchant nearby has begun selling something new. Ooh. If you use it, it seems you can burn trees. Is it it would be throw? good of you to obtain it, I believe. Now, you must hurry. Like before, the world will disappear in due time. Now, I return the memories you entrusted to me. It is best for you to have them. And this is the point where it loads your save. First, I'll go over how to play. There we go. To use your sword, press the A or Y buttons. Go ahead. Press it, and show your attack. You got it. Next, I want you to press the X button. This screen is called the subscreen. Oh. On this screen are listed the things that you are carrying. See, this is for new when players who started one, on week two. Press the B button. To we change what will everything. be used, make your selection and press the X button again to leave this screen. You can also change your items with L and R at any time. So yeah, this is BS Zelda. Well, this is an hour-long playthrough we're gonna do with constant narration. One is located not too far from here. Surely you just have to head for a nearby cave. Surely. Also, the old man said to reclaim two Triforce pieces today. You will be looking for the level 3 and level 4 dungeons. If you already have two Triforce pieces, this will surely bring your total to 4. If you don't have the other two pieces, don't panic. The level 1 and level 2 dungeons are already present in this region. Oh. You can complete them at any time. The level 1 and level 2 dungeons have their location shown on your map. Should you look at it? I don't want it. So even if you miss the first two dungeons from the first week of content, you can still complete them on the second week. And they do give you plenty of time to complete the two dungeons they give out every week. So you have time to go back, time to search for new weapons and items. Oh. I'm sorry, hero. To deal with merchants, you need rupees. I do not know how many rupees you have. Gimme. So I thought this would be helpful for you. Yeah, yeah. For a brief while from now, I've cast a spell on the enemies. Don't overdo it and get yourself knocked out. Spell on the enemies, huh? Does that make them drop money, I guess? I hope so. Have you met with a merchant? Did you buy a candle from him? If you don't have enough rupees, be sure to defeat enemies while the spell remains. Oh uh, yeah, they drop fives now. You won't now. be able to get very far if you can't burn trees. We gotta burn some trees, folks. <laughs> The path is clear. Yeah, they're repeatedly telling us to look for this merchant who's selling a candle now. Uh, in week one, our map progress was blocked by the fact that we don't have, well, the candle, pretty much. It's all just a bunch of trees blocking our way. But now we can explore more of the, the map. Ah, we've been here. Bombs are powerful weapons. You can use them to defeat enemies as well as break stone walls. Be sure to remember that as it is very important. Especially with regard to the statues depicting faces that are embedded in the walls of the dungeons. It is said that some of those can be destroyed. Um, what this is, is this is a, uh, MSU-1 Enhanced Draw. Mm -hmm. That's how we're actually playing this. It's a recreation 
of the uh, original Satellity broadcast. Yeah, this is only possible uh, on original hardware through flashcards, specifically the SD2 SNES. Stop enemy movements. It is also useful for obtaining items that are out of your reach. You can also throw it diagonally. This guy talks a lot. He sure does! Audio leveling's a bit... Can't even get a word in edgewise with this guy. But yeah, there's four weeks, and your progress carries over between them. And each week has different narration. They tell you new you things. Need arrows to use the bow. The bow is in a dungeon somewhere. Thanks! Arrows are sold by merchants. Be careful, however, as firing an arrow ah. costs a single rupee every time. Here we go. It's time yeah. to burn stuff. Chat's been talking about how this guy is uh, the ultimate backseat gamer. He totally is. He's the Omo Chow of this game. Well, at least we're making a lot of money here. I also like that they try to smooth over some of the rough patches from the original NES game, because, like, usually to get these items that require you to you know, have money. You'd have to grind enemies. Uh... Hero. Excuse me. Let's use the spell found out of the chapter of Fate of the Forbidden Tomb. Mm -ta. <laughs> uh -huh. ah, the appearance spell. of the subscreen changes when entering a dungeon. Let's explain the dungeon maps. Somewhere in each dungeon has been dropped a sheet of paper with a map drawn on it. By collecting this item, a small map will appear on the left of the screen. On the right side of the subscreen is a large map which records where you have been. Any room that is entered even once is recorded here. While comparing the two maps, be sure to aim for the location of Triforce Piece. If you pick up a compass, you should be able to see the location of Triforce Piece on the small map. All right, I want to thank Cambrian Era for resubscribing. They've been uh, sub four months in a row. Thank you very much. Thank you. Everyone and, keep this a secret. Yeah, don't tell anybody. Also, I'm so glad this guy is back. I love him. Mm -hmm. He's my favorite. Also, I saw it mentioned earlier, yeah, most people are doing uh, their style of voice acting is uh, church basement slash don't wake up mom. Yeah, keep that in mind this, these are all amateur fan dubbers. As mm -hmm. far as I know, these people have no industry experience, so they're just doing the best they can. In reality, the the teenage guy. Excuse me. The enemies are back to normal. You still need to venture into the western region of Hyrule. I'm doing it. Hurry up. Currently, you can only see a small portion of Hyrule. The dungeons of the evil King Ganon are as arduous as ever. The road should open if you can burn down the trees in the way. So if you're wondering why it sounds like a teenager is trying to do an old man voice very quietly because he doesn't want to wake up his mom, that's probably exactly what was happening. <laughs> I have to do my commentary in sets now. Oh, does this count as the Lost Woods? What I'm noticing right now is that the western map looks way different than I'm used to. It seems to incorporate elements from the north and the east. But this is the Lost Woods. I know what this is. It's like northwest, southwest. Also appreciate the upgraded music. Uh, it's a uh, hacked ROM, is what it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a ROM that incorporates. Um, well, it's not the original recording. The original recording was recorded, and then they overdubbed it again. It's also a useful tool for brightening darkened rooms. However. It can only be used once per screen. If you want to use it on the same screen many times, you have to leave that screen and then re-enter it. I always thought that was kind of weird about the blue candle, and having to explain it makes it even weirder. This is a new challenge, look at this. This isn't in the original game. So there is some entirely new stuff in here too, as well as stuff that will be familiar if you're, you played the original Zelda. Okay. This is supremely unfair. What is this? I don't like this. This sucks! Oh, this... damn it! No! So this is gonna be how they eat up my Have time. Have you set foot in the west of Hyrule and seen the Lost Woods? Yes. That forest ends up ensnaring many travelers. Yeah. Evil spirits trick them into continuing to wander in the forest until they die. No one in Hyrule dares approach it. I did it! Yes! There is only one way out of the woods. Yet... Even as you exit, more difficulties lie before you. 
You should wait for the old man's instructions. Should I? Or should I just unleash all the ghosts in the graveyard? I think that's a better Danny, idea. no! Ghosts! This was a good grinding trick in the original. If you kill the main ghost, his uh, lackeys die. See? Now, one of these you should be able to push. Yeah, there we go. Can I get this yet? I can! So I think this is the white sword, not the master sword. That's why we were able to get that at six hearts. I have no idea where the master sword is. Usually it's hidden under a tombstone, but not this time. So this serves multiple audiences, I think. If you want an upgraded Zelda, that's for you. If you want a Zelda that's a little bit different from the game you've played a billion times already, boy, does this game deliver. Yeah. Stuff like this. Yeah, I hate this part. This is... Man, that's weird. It kind of resembles the whirlwind you get when you use the flute in the original game, but here there's a bunch of whirlwinds, and they're all not your friend. Oh, we're actually using the uh, Frame Meister, not an XRGB menu. That is the XRGB menu. Oh, wait, never yeah, mind. This is, this is Frame Meister plus a Super Famicom plus an SD2 SNES. Oh, well, then, I, then don't listen to me. <laughs> the, uh, the output looks a little fuzzy just because that's what unmodded Super Famicoms look like, apparently. We'd get a much sharper picture if this was a Sega Genesis, as well as better games. Oh, we can get the meat. Get the meat! And the blue ring. Oh, but we don't have enough for both. Let's get the meat. Another change, you can have more than 255 rupees. That's nice. The bubbles. These are the most annoying enemies. Although they don't hurt you when they touch you, they will render you unable to use your sword temporarily. Be wary of the red bubble. If you touch one, your sword is disabled permanently unless you touch a blue bubble. And you'll have very cheap Beware merch. Beware the red bubbles the most. <laughs> there seems to be an enemy who eats your shields as well. Do not be careless around them. Also, these new screens like this one mean that I don't automatically know where to burn. <laughs> That's kind of nice if you're familiar with the original Legend of Zelda, but again, this game trips you up a lot. The good news is, if this is like the original, there's only one hidden passage per screen. Meaning it's in one of these trees. How goes the battle, hero? Oh, just burning trees, you know. I shall use the lightning spell once again. Yeah, do it. Hmm? Hata! Great spell. Thanks, dude. Two stopwatches and a bomb when I'm already full on bombs. Old man can really work his magic. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna be real here. I expected this to be a cakewalk after week one, but it's seriously throwing me some curveballs here. Okay, well that's how to get through the Lost Woods if you don't automatically know how. Through years of seasoned gaming. Mmm, seasoned gaming. Check it out! Hey! We found a dungeon! We should go in it. Let's do it. Ah, oh, the music's going hard. Mm hmm. It's timed well. Now, if you're a speedrunner, level 3 is where you start in the original Zelda. But first. Just moments ago, I tried reading the minds of the merchants. Ah, this is what I found. It appears they want the money. The merchants think of nothing but rupees. <laughs> Not even the future of Hyrule is on their minds. <laughs> I'll make them my puppets for a while. <laughs> what? Talk to the merchants while I manipulate their hearts. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and get that blue yeah. ring. Let's go ahead and get that discount. <laughs> the goods that Luchi steal in have become cheaper. You do well to buy items useful in battle now. Let's go down to see the merchants. Oh, now that we've manipulated that's really their hearts. Funny. That's pretty good. 
that also kind of touches on like one of the weird just one of those weird video game things like they want you to save the world but you still have to give them money it's cool that they actually address that and made it part of the plot oh shit I'm back in the lost woods damn it Okay, now where was where was that merchant? Do you remember? Absolutely not. Okay, good. I think oh uh, no, it wasn't. Arrows are a good purchase if you have the bow. The merchant to the west sells arrows. However, does remember, anyone else remember where the merchant was? You fire an arrow, you lose one rupee. Left you and up the from the lost ones. Rupees. Was it here? The shield I think that's left. Sixty-five rupees. I want a discount. If you have the shield, <laughs> oh, it's half price. Yes. By the Zora who rise from the water. To that is a sweet deal right there. You got the arrows, right? Okay. Oh, if I waited just a few minutes, I could have had meat for half off. That's the best kind of meat. Ah, uh, sorry, you couldn't get your cheap meat. Well, I didn't know our old man friend was going to invade the minds of the selfish shopkeepers. <laughs> that is really funny. I'm sorry. That's something I haven't really seen in any other game, so good on you, BS Zelda. the raft in the level 3 dungeon. Where can you use the raft? There is the level 4 dungeon. The Evil King's minions must be across the water. You're raising a lot of questions, man, but you don't have many answers. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I know where to find level 4. We just gotta get the raft in level 3. Like in the original. Oh yeah, break it down. Oh yeah. Yeah, whale on that horse. Why was there random horse winning in this? Whatever. It's cool. I'm not gonna question it. Don't question the horses. Yeah, I got that blue ring for half off. Yeah, the horse is doing the drum solo. That's a talented horse. What is this song? Good lord, this horse's drum setup must have like 60 or 70 pieces in it. He's the Neil Peart of, of horse drummers. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when I make myself laugh. Don't give a horse cocaine. <laughs> Sorry, that's all I can think of. Oh, that's a terrifying fight. Yeah. Oh, just the worst. Horses can mess you up even when they're not on cocaine. Oh, God! Can we get this? I'm just saying, my new, my new and only political position now is that, uh, is that you shouldn't give horses cocaine. I didn't know Neil Peart was known for his cocaine use. I, I he's, a, he's a rock star, so probably. Honestly, I feel bad, but that's the only... The only, the only thing I think about when I think about Neil Peart is this is jokes on me about him like doing a bunch of coke and just banging on the drums about Neil Peart. And, <laughs> and, 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 and so I could be completely wrong, and if so, I'm sorry, Neil Peart, for uh, disparaging you. Alright, if we hear from PeartFans.com, I'm gonna let you know. Okay, we got a map now. Now, as we mentioned during last week's show, the maps are made up. Not in the forms they are in the original, but instead they're letters spelling Saint Giga, the New Age network that became Nintendo's download service. A magical boomerang. Just a level three instead of two. Exactly. Trans rights, human rights, don't get forces okay. from the lightning chapter. <laughs> Simple words to live by. Hmm. Ita. Oh, good timing. Yeah, mess up those those blue boys. Oh, they're so cute. Even trying to match the sword sound effects. You hear that? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Shopkeepers mad at you, huh? It's tradition. If they didn't want you to do it, they wouldn't have included it. Man, this is refreshing. I like feeling like I'm exploring new territory in uh, Zelda 1, considering how many times I've played it. 
Y'all, I really like Zelda 1. It may be my favorite Zelda. No, I've never beaten it. Or played it. Oh, you should. <laughs> I know, but... Uh... It's great. You get stuck for, like, years, and the only way you can solve your problem is by waiting for the Nintendo Power to that has the true solution. <laughs> That's exactly the experience I had with this game. I couldn't find level 7 for years, and it wasn't n until Nintendo printed a fanfiction about finding level 7 that I could figure out where it was. Oh wait, I already went through here. Oh, huge thanks to Codeman, who just posted a, uh, these, uh, so tell if you sent, uh, the BS Zelda soundtrack download, so thank Ooh, you. nice. Yeah, this is good stuff. Yeah, as far as I know, these tracks were from the original broadcast, it's just the English voices that were added later. Dark nuts. You know what pisses me off? Why are they called dark nuts? I don't know. They, they just, don't look like nuts. They were in the original. They were called that in the original Zelda manual. No one really knows why. What's that growling? Growling. Oh my god! Oh. It's this. It's the manhandler. Dark Knots! Yeah! That makes more sense. Is that what it was supposed to be? Uh, like yeah. the spelling of Dark Knight or something? Dark, yeah. Because Dark Nuts just sounds like a tasty roasted nut. Mm. Like something you'd get... Like, you know, maybe maybe like a, like a maybe coated in like a... I don't know, blackened fish seasoning or something. That sounds disgusting. Just a nice spicy roasted nut. Get your spicy nuts. Yes! Okay, we found the Triforce piece, but not the item. We gotta venture back in so we can get that raft. I have a pretty good idea of where it is. Oh, well, but Wait. first... I must tell you something regrettable. Oh, no. The merchant's mines have returned to normal. <laughs> the sales are now at the normal prices. Somehow the old man is doing some follow-up work for you. That is regrettable. That is... That the, that the merchants have recovered from their brainwashing. Look, it's for the it's for the land's best, all right. We got high rules. We got the fate of the land in mind here. That's more important than getting a a profit off that meat you got. Meat's probably a couple weeks old. Oh, uh, that was. High rule doesn't have no FDA. <laughs> oh, you controlling them it was beautiful. <laughs> What I is... must tell you something regrettable. You have to pay high retail prices now. The middleman is back. We cut them this... out, but they're back. Listen to this music. That's either a record scratch or a scream time to the Zelda theme. Either way, I approve. Oh, get away from me, Dark Nuts. There it is. I think it's a scream. It's all like. Bear, 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 bear. Oh, I hear. Okay, I heard it. It's in this. Yeah. That, that's. A... Is it just in one ear? Yes. Oh, it's even weirder. That's messed up. Maybe maybe, maybe they're pro. Out. Maybe they're trying to program us, a la the merchants. They're trying to what? They're trying to program us. No. They're gonna force us to sell our meat at a deep discount. Oh. There's some people who are communicating with me. <laughs> it's the merchants. Apparently, they are hiding themselves from the evil king's minions. Some of them say they want to help you. I will send you the candle power. However, know that not all of them are allies. Mysterious. We've powered up our candle. Now we can burn as much shit as we want. Let's experiment with it. Thanks to the old man's power, you can use the candle as much as you like. With this, you might meet allies hiding under trees. They will give you important information. Let's burn suspicious trees with a candle. Yes, let's. Kids, this is something you can do in real life. It's fucking music. 
time to burn stuff. Burn all the trees. Uh, and get some cheap meat from the merchants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just laughing, just like in America, we're all like, oh no, oh no, we can't get kids burning things down if you use a butthead, knock it off. And <laughs> Japan is just like, hey, you can burn as much as you want. Just keep burning. <laughs> it's a hell of a soundscape. Seems like hidden room here. Maybe not every screen has a secret in this game. Exactly, this is some tree burning music. Oh yeah. I will rue the day they gave Link a candle. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Well, the good news is we do have a raft now, so we can find the next level, probably. OC Remix brought to you by John Cage! <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's going harder and harder! Now, in the original game, this is the level 9 music. This is like the, the you're about to beat the game music. I don't know why they feel the need to step things up this much. Again, Lake does have a candle, and he's burning everything. Oh, here we go. Just a medicine lady. Well, that's good to know. It seems your uphill battle continues. I will try to help with the lightning spell. Please. Mm -hmm. It's all. He gets results. What can I say? Yeah. Oh, here we are, level four, with time to spare. Good luck, Danny. It feels like a bit of a war or something. Where's old Storm and Norman? <laughs> Storm and Norman exist in the human world, not the Hillian world, Alex. <laughs> oh, but what if, Danny? Please well, read my fanfic where I recast the Gulf War in Hyrule. I have been banned from every single fanfic hosting service, including Wattpad. I am no longer- Fanfic long hosting for singles, wow. <laughs> Would have never thought. Well, the stakes are pretty high here. We have unlimited burning powers. Uh, we're fighting globs of some sort. <laughs> this music just goes! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I need to move along. Feels like it's directly attacking you. Okay, I put in the second ear, and it's, just, it's even worse with both ears in. <laughs> Hero, I shall try using the spell found in the fate chapter of the Forbidden Tomb. Do it. Mm ta! You didn't do nothing about my dark nut problem. Thanks, old man. You got a fairy. That's nice. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. Also, much like, uh, much like that Moblin giving us rupees, my dark nut problem is a secret to everybody. Mm. I, I, no, everybody, you're under NDA if you're watching this show. Hi. There we go, there's that dungeon music we should have been hearing. We're not at level 9 yet. In fact, I don't even know if there's a level 9 in this. Have you found the flute at the level 4 dungeon? Slow the flute and a tornado appears. It will carry you to the entrances of any dungeons you have defeated. Ah. Okay, it works a little bit differently here than it did in the original then. The original, once you got the flute, it could take you pretty much anywhere, but here they limit you. This enemy was in the original, and I'm surprised they brought it back, because it's really not much of anything. It's just in circles. <laughs> I was going to say, it's Balls 3D. Yeah. Sorry, Balls 2D. Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. Watch after the basketball. Uh. Link, do you shoot hoops? Can you dunk, Link? It is said that white men can't jump. Why, it says in the rule books that even a Hyrulean can play basketball. <laughs> but not a dog. That would be too fantastical, even for the legend of Hyrule. <laughs> that would be pretty cool, though. <laughs> Simon the Digger says, guys, I think we killed laser balls. <laughs> <laughs> Finally got my, my revenge on the laser balls. Yeah, so they brought back this mechanic from the original Zelda, which is there's dark rooms sometimes, and you gotta use a candle to light them up. Candle's not just for burning stuff. Oh no, like likes. If these guys get a hold of you, they'll eat your shield, as the intro said. So don't let that happen. Especially now that the shopkeepers are back to charging an arm and a leg for those things. Can we like hypnotize the shopkeepers to like kill Ganon instead of just like giving me cheaper stuff? Can I do that in real life? Can I hypnotize like billionaires and be like, hey, <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, you. why don't you give me the family discount at, uh, I don't know, um, Whataburger? <laughs> That's what you're gonna use? <laughs> Your power to influence the world's most powerful people, and you ask him to, like, buy you some Whataburger. No, I ask him for a permanent discount at Whataburger. Okay, well, that's fine. What is going on? You could no longer use the candle as often as you'd like. Oh, oh that the sucks. Of the old man's spell has faded. Oh, there's the flute. And they retconned it to be the damn ocarina. Can you believe that shit? Oh, my God. I'm gonna write a letter. Wait, was this before Ocarina of Time? Did this game invent the concept of ocarinas? Yeah, before this, no one had ever used an ocarina before. Wow. You heard it here first, folks. BS Zelda invented ocarinas. Okay, we have a key now, and I, there was a key door. I remember seeing at some point. Apparently, it was an ocarina. In as well, so. Oh, that's right, and, yeah. And a Link's Awakening, so... You're so. right. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, you gotta have the ocarina so you can call the duck. Alex here hasn't played Zelda 1, 2, or Link to the Past. Nope. Or Link's Awakening. Uh, but you're wrong about Link's Awakening. You're absolutely wrong. Have you Take played? Take that back. Yes, I've played and beaten it. Oh. Wow. Yes. Okay. I had, I had a Game Boy Color for a while as a teen, so I I played uh, the Link's Awakening DX. Okay, sorry for doubting you. I will defend my gamer honor. <laughs> you have to. I played Breath of the Wild, and I played Link's Awakening, and I've played a little bit of Oracle of Ages. Wow. So you have experience with, uh, honestly, some pretty good games. Yeah, I was going to say, my experience is pretty good. But have you played the CDI ones? I think not. I played, played him a little bit. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's like, you know that. You made him do the duck walk. <laughs> I sure did. Oh, oh, oh boy, boy, here we go. Alright, old man, kill these bats. Have you seen the forest from which you cannot proceed once you go in? Yeah, I solved it. Let's exorcise the spirits of the forest with a spell. You should be able to move through the Lost Woods freely. That's handy. Okay, so if you never figure out the Northwest-Southwest trick, or you can't read what the old man is saying, which may be, because a lot of little kids were playing this, then uh, you can just get right through the Lost Woods with no problem now. You will no longer lose your way in the Lost Woods. By having the spirits driven away, the forest has become a straightforward path. No one has ever gone past these woods yet. Surely there must be something beyond the forest. Uh, no one except for me. There's a single graveyard with a cool sword, and I already got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next room should be the fearsome Dig Dogger. Yep, there he is. The fuck is that? It's a Dig Dogger. 
He hates certain kind of sound. Did you wait all this time to exit the forest just to head into a desert storm? Is this a trap that someone set up? This is wasting our time. You should wait for the old man's help. Have you found the fourth Triforce piece yet? If not, hurry to the level 4 dungeon. The level 4 dungeon is past the pier by the lake. So, you know all those whirlwinds we saw? The guy just described that as a quote-unquote desert storm, which I think is very appropriate for our stream. Oh, yeah. We can't escape this. It's pretty good. I will summon Storm and Norman Schwarzkopf. I told you! I told you! I thought, uh, Only uh, he can get through the you. desert storm. <laughs> he hate it. Okay, and with that, we've done all of this week's challenges with plenty of time to spare, so we have some time to explore now. Okay, we've done our dailies. Uh, now we just gotta wait till next week for next week's program. Got a good bunch of items here. I recall at least one more pier that we couldn't get to before. Oh hell, let's use our shiny new ocarina. See, that's how the whirlwinds are supposed to work. I was just here. Mm -hmm. So anyone have any thoughts on this game? Based on what you've seen so far? Uh, that's a pretty lazy whirlwind to be honest. Yeah, it is. They could use more animation. Uh, what, what do meats do? Meats are for when you encounter a hungry enemy in later levels. He won't let you pass. He'll famously say, grumble, grumble. Oh, that guy. Yeah, that guy. Well, the opponent's a fan of the narrator, as am I. Yeah, he's cool. Ooh, maybe there's a hidden room here. Edson Burks mentions it's nice that you can use L and R to cycle the weapons as well. Oh, I forgot about that. I could have totally been doing that. Thanks for the tip. Oh, I wish I still had that powerful candle. Also, me will also cause some enemies to cluster around it, so you can use it to distract normal enemies if you want. You don't say. There you go, boys. Eat up. Hey, look at him. Oh, man, look at him. Oh, he loves that meat. Oh, they love that meat. Aw, eat up, boys. I got some octopus friends now. Aw. They're meat eaters. They're hungry. There you go. Oh, Alright, screw the quest. I'm gonna go around just feeding all the animals. Nice. Do you have, like, infinite meat? Yeah. Wow! That's why they call this a fantasy role-playing game. <laughs> also, sorry, the next 15 minutes are gonna be me doing this. I gotta find the secrets. Oh, where's the secret in this screen? Here? Maybe a little bit over. Kill the animals, save the animals, feed the animals. There should be a third option for Super Metroid. Just feed the animals right when the planet's about to blow up. Hey, old man, burn all these trees for me. Finally. I made it just barely. I was at last successful in suppressing the desert storm. The desert should be much less perilous now. I have constructed a desert shield. <laughs> God damn it. Welcome back to the 90s, folks. Oh, at least Dennis Miller is in here. <laughs> Hey, he'd think these jokes were brilliant. Oh, the Northern God. Desert Storm has finally disappeared. Nobody knows what is on the other side of the desert. Well, we did it the hard way. If you wanted to go the easy way, you could wait for the spell on the Lost Forest to be lifted and have the Desert Storm lifted. That's for babies who like easy difficulties in video games. There, now we're relevant to modern uh, talk. <laughs> I hope you're happy. Please don't. Yes, yeah, Zelda needs an easy mode? Why, are you a stupid baby? No, I'm just disabled. Stupid! What baby. a stupid baby. 
If your game isn't punishing you and making you feel like a piece of shit and calling you a piece of shit, and then the dev comes out and just punches you in the face, <laughs> then you're not a real gamer. Never had a, a dev punch me in the face, so I guess I'm not a real gamer. Honestly, I'm surprised I haven't had it happen. Yeah, me especially. Yeah, you've met. I I've had a couple met, of occasions for that to happen, and they didn't. I think we've met. I've, you, you've met a lot of devs, so they're always really nice to you, huh? For the most part. Well, except for a couple. Well, yeah, but that's that's life. I shall try using the last spell from the chapter of lightning. Please. Mm, Utah. <laughs> Come on, really? <laughs> What's wrong with Utah, Danny? That's my favorite animutation. <laughs> it took me a minute. Yeah, this game's really skimping on the stuff hidden behind trees. Either that or I'm not searching well enough. Thank you to Speedy Bree who somehow remembers French, the animutation French erotic film. <laughs> Wow! Wow! We're in good company here. Oh, man! Mm, irrational exuberance, thank you. Mm -hmm. That was the name I was trying to think of, thank you. My brain is an encyclopedia of 90s and 2000s bullshit. It sucks, because I know way too much about animutations. Yeah. It's just, there's this chunk of my mind that will be like, ah, yes, Kagiichi. <laughs> like, I need to know other things, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe a arithmetic, and like, no, 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 uh, how about we eat Ritalin? <laughs> that part of your brain is taken up by, like, uh, Alex Chu and Wilfred Brimley with the cutout mouths. <laughs> it sucks! Ah, here we go. Oh, Cactus B, thank you! I, I Wait think a minute. Of... What? What's this bullshit? That rules. Well, I thought there was another dock we could launch off of, but apparently not. It just leads to a dang whirlpool. So maybe we actually have done everything already. But what have we learned from this? We've learned that the world of BS Zelda is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. We've learned that old men can take over the evil minds of merchants to make them give you discount meat. Probably my favorite discovery from this week. We learned that someone in Hyrule knows how to wail on the guitar. Yeah. Link, find the electric guitar of time. <laughs> it's much cooler than your dumbass ocarina. Link, I want some sick riffs off that guitar, and I need it immediately. I've got an album coming out soon, and I couldn't get any studio music musicians. <laughs> So the guitarist in the current uh, music arrangement is from the band Go Diego, who you may know from Galaxy Express and, of course, the Monkey Magic theme. Oh my god, it Thank all you, comes Go back Man. around. Thank you. Yeah, Go Diego was pretty famous, even at this point. That's amazing. Oh. Old man, what can you possibly do for us? Those people are still talking to me. They say that they will lend you power. Let's try something a little different. Okay. Let's figure out their whereabouts. Yes, show me these people. Okay, so when you enter a screen that has a hidden passage now, it'll play a little tone. You should listen carefully. You will hear a signal from them. When you hear it, surely there is somebody nearby. Use candles and bombs to meet them. That's just what you want to tell a little kid in Hyrule. Use bombs and candles to break into people's houses. Does anyone have experience with this game? And if you do, can you tell me which tree to burn on the screen? Because there's kind of a lot of them. Uh, Chad is like, I bet it's those tiny trees. They're all, they're all tiny trees. I tried the, I tried those two that are standing on their own. I could try them again. Let me go back up. Yeah. Maybe it's those two trees. Oh, it's City Pop Zelda. Yes, this one. 
Still cool. It's the uh it's secret. Oh, I'm I'm great. Great. Yes. It's the Akihabara uh, electric circus. Which form? The golden triangle. Uh, electrical light parade. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Alex is a fan. Mm -hmm. It played that sound We're here. Running out of time. What new threads have you left hanging that you should tie up? The raft, the flute, and the stronger boomerang. No, no. These all can Why? be obtained today. <laughs> they are all in the dungeons. According to rumor, it is said that there is someone who will give you a stronger sword uh -huh. called the White Sword. Is the White Sword in your hand? Go west through the Lost Woods, then quickly reach the cemetery north of the desert. I'm rich! The graves in the cemetery hold a secret. I'm pretty sure he already got that, right? The white sword? Yeah, I've got that. That was the one past uh, the desert storm. I didn't need an old man's magic to win desert storm. He just needed. I used my own skills of a gamer to win desert storm single-handedly. <laughs> I was gonna say, you only needed one old man to help you with desert storm. That was Mr. Norman himself. <laughs> oh, man. Aha! Wow, two entrances on the single screen. They're breaking all the rules. Also, I'm rich again. Damn, you got a lot of money. I can afford so much discount meat, dude. Let's head over to Food Lion. <laughs> Gonna get discount meat. And feed it to my animal friends. Here you go. Moblins love it too. This, Danny needed the heart of a gamer to find the secret in the desert storm. <laughs> I'm learning all kinds of things from this game. Well, since we have that little tone, let's go ahead and explore a little bit more. See if we're missing anything else. Four hundred twenty-six rupees. Oh, that's so good. Can't be that rich in the original game. Only three minutes left. Hurry! I'm hurrying. Oh yeah, you need the ladder. Tune in next week where we find the ladder. I guess at this point we're so invested we have to play this again, right? We gotta play weeks three and four. We absolutely do. I'm thinking next time we play this, maybe we should play nothing but BSL this so we can finish it up in one stream. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, weeks three and four in one stream. Ah! That was actually just a straight up screen, yeah. Oh no, there's a burnable bush on this screen, and I have three minutes. Hey, Danny. Alright, Alex, help me burn stuff. There's too many burnable bushes. Yeah, I know. Gamers are good at burning stuff, but what if there's too much burning to do? Look at this, someone get Moses! <laughs> it is said there are ten commandments to live by. Okay. Thou shalt not cover, covet my <laughs> wife. <laughs> Thou shalt not email or covet my wife. <laughs> <laughs> that like well. Aha! Uh -huh. Nice. The Thanks, dude. Give him some meat. Good idea. Here you go, buddy. Put it up his butt. Da -da! Da -da! Sorry. <laughs> you can't just do that! Alright, a pretty profitable trip to Hyrule today, I must say. We got our meat, we got 470 rupees, which is way more than we can carry in the original game. Try force. At last, time is up. And there we go. That's B.S. Zelda. Week 2. We have found the butt mate. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Well done. Oh, thank you. Here are the results of today's fight. 
four more dungeons are still to come. Let me take your sword again. I shall keep the important memories of your battles. These memories can never disappear until the fight ends. So, let's meet again. Yes, let's meet again. Ah. It's a good week for rupees, good week for Triforce, and a good week for meat. We accomplished a lot this week, and we have two more weeks of Legend of Zelda Week 1, or rather BS Legend of Zelda Map 1. <laughs>